Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and this is pretty big news that I think will give more people hope about the future of Halo and the franchise, and this video is not meant to be bashing anybody or, you know, being disrespectful or anything like that. I think that this is something that's been talked about for a very long time within our community, and it looks like it's finally happening. And that is the complete restructure of 343 and the leadership. Now, we all know that Pierre took over and Bonnie had left. I also believe that Kiki Wolfkill has moved on from what her role was as well. But last night, late last night, it looks like people started to realize that Frank O'Connor, who was the former franchise creative director for Halo, if you don't know what that means, uh, it's basically he worked across games and books and other media to build a narrative and story development through the Halo franchise. He also helped serve as the executive producer on the Halo TV series that's from Paramount and says that uh, he helped work on one of the most successful video game consumer products and transmedia empires in the history of gaming. Before that, he did work at Bungie as a writer, community manager, but anyways, before we get into any more of that, I just want to say thank you for everybody who has been subbing recently. We are grinding away to 15k subs here. So if you love Halo and you don't like people who are like super negative Nancy all the time, but will still be honest about their opinion about the franchise and where it's going, this is the place for you. Also, we've been streaming on Twitch and I've had a ton of people come over there and hang out. So my Twitch will be down in the description please check it out. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to be taken seriously in Halo uh, in that community, I feel like you got to stream on Twitch now. So I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. But let's get back into the video. So like I said, Technical B tweeted out that it looked like Frank was gone from his LinkedIn profile. I also checked his LinkedIn profile and I can confirm that there is a new role that he has had since March of 2023. And it just says franchise creative director, which was his same role, creating rich story-driven entertainment experiences across multiple media. Now, it doesn't say that what it is or what company it is. I can't believe that it's Halo because it's not like he would move laterally into the same position, if that makes sense. But after doing some more digging and seeing some more links, it looks like that position was replaced in February. But really, if you do some more digging... You'll see that Halo had tweeted in 2019, but if you do some digging, you'll see that Halo tweeted in 2019 that Corinne Robinson was a senior franchise manager, and it looks like she's now taken over Frank's old position. Now, people in, in that thread just, she gets glowing reviews. People talk about how lucky 343 is to have her, so I'm excited for that. So that's pretty wild to think that this... We, I don't know. It's insane to me that this has all been happening while the game is still being like worked on pretty much. And there have been such a mass amount of layoffs from Microsoft and 343. So like it's one of those things where it feels even more up in the air. But this is what the community has been asking for for forever, really. And with all the uncertainty around like Tatanka and the switch to Unreal Engine and just everything that's going on with Halo right now. I will take this as a sign of good things and hope. If you're a Halo fan, you just you just want to see the franchise succeed and you want to, you know, you want to play the games and have fun and enjoy the other media, the books and especially the TV show because we've talked about on this channel how important that TV show was to the I guess overall success of Halo and coming back into the mainstream and we're seeing other video games do great things right now with like The Last of Us and the Mario movie is really good I haven't seen it yet but um everybody says that it's amazing and people were like super turned off by it in the beginning you know with the trailers and whatnot but it looks like it has overcome that immensely so yeah, this is pretty big news, I think, in the grand scheme of things. This is over a decade of, you know, having these people in these positions, and now there's there's turnover. And with anything, it's going to take time to see the fruits of that labor, so I don't expect immediate change, but I feel like within the next year, we're going to start to see the foundation being built for what the future of Halo looks like. So fingers crossed this is a good thing. I think it is. Um, I'm excited to see how Corinne does in her new position. Again, all I've he heard is positive things about her. So yeah, 
But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you like it. It greatly helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and that's what I, you know, I'm trying to beat every day. It's my Elden Ring final boss. Every time I upload a video, why is there boss music playing? Also, if you like Halo, make sure you sub, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!